Actors yeah. Paul Michael Glazer, who is flirting with Holly like I have never oh. seen before. Uh, David Soul. Well, you only have uh, one. I've been flirting with those <laughs> And now that we've got that taken you've care been... of, I'm going to have a seat over here next hour. <laughs> because that blonde is... No, I'm not doing it anymore over there. I'm just going to watch. Oh, my God. <laughs> and boy, you're beside that. I was flirting with him, and then he took you... Uh, you took him away. Oh, so you we're, really watching, mean that. Watching that clip, you, you said, uh, do you remember that alley? What, uh, no, he said, he was, oh, oh, the director of that pilot, uh, Barry Shear was his name, and he, uh, at one Crazy point, Barry. He, yeah, he turned to me and he said, we're going to shoot this whole car chase from this intersection. And he showed me how to do that, and I had never, I'd never any idea. And later on, I went on to do a lot of directing. It's ways so. to save time, and, but yeah. also he's such a clever director, the guy mm. was. How much of the stuff did you do, though? How much of the driving did you do? Well, I, I didn't. Well, you didn't even have a car. Oh, you didn't I, have a car. Yeah, hey, come on. <laughs> That's a discount. <laughs> I, I, I was forced I to ride in that stupid red tomato. Mm -hmm. with a striped, stripe. striped tomato. <laughs> uh, I did a fair amount of driving. Yeah. The, uh, until they took our insurance away. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing why. is, is we were we were blessed with a couple of really great um, stuntmen mm. who worked with us yeah. on, on a show to show, and they spent a lot of time teaching mm -hmm. us so we could do uh, quite a bit of our own driving or he could do quite a bit of his own I did my own too in my in my car you call that a car it was it took and Huggy was it? such a great character well, they well. didn't give me a car though uh, <laughs> you missed out no, but you, got you a didn't pump. have to audition <laughs> though did you did you just get the part well working with the director Barry Shear I did a film called Cross 110th Street in New York and uh, I was got to LA and I was kind of looking for work and all that, and I get a call from from uh, my agents that Barry Shear had recommended me to Spelling and Goldberg for this uh, pilot called Starsky and Hutch. And Would you so, ever have believed, the three of you, that all of these years later... You'd 42 be, you'd years? Be sitting yeah. together, no, that's mad, isn't it? Still talking about well, it. Well, yeah. I dreamt of this moment for the longest time. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell. It's oh, blatantly God. obvious. Well, thank you. Um, oh. You can see, even like now, even all these years later, that the chemistry between the, the three of you is still very much so. This is very yeah. much a friendship that has lasted all No, it really time. is. A, it's, a, it's been a, a, a been been ongoing friendship. <laughs> <laughs> what? You said it's torturous. <laughs> what, what did you say? I said it's torturous. You couldn't live torturous, without it. Though. Torturous. I expected, I expected that from you. Torturous. 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 Yeah. Uh, but when you go to the Comic Cons, because you did Liverpool, like we said, and you're doing the NEC in Birmingham. We're doing Birmingham next. Is this, yeah. is this the, the the fans that you had back then? Um, because uh, my, you know my mother is so excited that you're doing this that I can't tell you. But what about <laughs> what about um, younger fans? I mean, you. you, you it's Comic -Con it's interesting young, how the show has has migrated across the generations and mm. parents who like the show, you know, sit their children down and say, "Watch this," yeah. and so they watch it and. Uh, yeah. There is a fair amount of, uh, not a huge amount, but a fair amount of young people that... You know, um, uh, I, I, my feeling is also that uh, back then, uh, back in the day, in the 70s, there were only three channels, yeah. three television channels. Yeah. And so a show like Starsky and Hutch became part of the family, just as if, like, your show would be, or some of the reality stuff that's out there, which I... Anyway, um, <laughs> but it, it became... Essential yeah. viewing, yeah. and that 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 experience. You know, you can walk down any street anywhere, and people well, not, stop you and say, "Hey, any. I grew up with you guys." 60... You know, you know that they're going to show their kids the same thing. Yeah. Sixty-seven countries. It was yeah. sold in. How many? Sixty-seven. Yeah, but yeah. you also have yeah. a marriage of of two of a thing. Uh, we didn't have comic cons and these kinds of phenomena today. People is interested in the history of television, the way these young people are today. Mm. And then we have those people who actually grew up with us. Uh, so that opportunity for all those people to come together and see people from TV history yeah. mm. uh, in one place and for us to get together after all these years for that kind of reunion, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it sure is.
Great, and I always used to talk about gumming each other to death. <laughs> <laughs> we always used to say, you know, yeah. well, we're you you used to now. <laughs> <laughs> we're gumming each other to death. <laughs> <laughs> well, well I'm glad. Year, you're in Birmingham next to Comic Con, so if anybody wants to come and see you, they can do that. It's That's lovely to see you this fellas. week. Thank yeah, well, thanks. Thank you so oh, wait a much. sec, that was it. We we're supposed to say some other stuff. Oh, no. Oh, well, yeah. I'll leave you two <laughs> we can say together. Well, we <laughs> want to say it to you, though. You. No, time is time is up, Paul. You, you waste your time is up. Four, three, <laughs> two, <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>